Welcome back. So let's talk about Sanity Data Store and Data Sets. The Sanity Data Store is a cloud storage where the data for your application is stored. You can access it using Sanity APIs or other client libraries. However, all the data in your data store is organized into data sets. Data sets can be considered as variations of the data in your data store that are represented in different states. This makes it possible for you to organize your data in multiple environments when working with Sanity. It also makes it possible for you to manage access to your data sets since it can be created in both private and public modes. So how do you request for this data you might ask? Well, in order to access the data in your data sets, Sanity provides an open source tool called Grok. It is a query language built by Sanity that you can use in Sanity Studio or even within your own applications to access the data from Sanity datasets. At the moment, you can also use GraphQL queries to access Sanity data directly into your applications. Of course, there are also existing client libraries that are available to you. Back to our Sanity Studio, we currently have only one data set, and that is production, which was created when we set up the application. We can run queries against this data set using Grok like this, and click on the Run Query button, and this should now give us all the dispatch services that we created. If you are unfamiliar with this syntax, this is called Grok, which you can learn more about from grok.dev. Right here at the extreme left is a sample data set that is just provided for you to play around with and see how Grok works. In the middle column is the Grok query, which will return every item in the data set where completed is true and user ID is two. If you click on the play button, you should now get all the results listed here. So back to Sanity Studio, since we have only one data set, let's go ahead and create a new one. And to do that, bring up the terminal and run the following command, sanity dataset create. And the name of the dataset you want to create is, let's call it staging. And make it public. Now that this dataset is created, if you want to, you can come back and reload your studio. And now, if you click on here, you should see that we have both staging and production data set. But at the moment, if you run any queries against the staging data set, you will see that there are no documents available in the staging data set at the moment. So what we can do is, instead of manually adding documents to this data set, let's go ahead and copy all the data that we have in our production data set and put them into the staging data set. And to do that, we will copy the existing data in our production data set into a zip file and then import that zip file into our staging data set. You'll find this particular process really useful in the future because it can be a bit tricky at first, but it's quite simple to follow and understand. First, let's go ahead and bring up the terminal again and export the existing contents we have in our production data set into a zipped file. And let's do that by running the command sanity dataset export. The next thing we want to specify is the data set that we want to export and its production. And we want to export it into a file and let's call the file data and make it a zipped file. And the next thing we want to do is import this data file that we just created into our staging data set. And to do that, let's go ahead and run the command. Specify the name of the file you want to import, which we called data. And we want to import it into our staging data set. Great. So back to our Sanity Studio, if we run this query again against the staging data set, we should now get the same exact results as we did before. And you can go ahead and confirm that your staging data set is actually created 
on the sanity dashboard which you can find at manage.sanity.io if you click on your sanity mission and come all the way to data sets you should now see that we have both production and staging data sets if you wanted you also have the option to delete either of the data sets so this is as far as we will go with data store and data sets in the next lesson we'll go ahead and set up a Noxt application that we can use to consume the products that we've created in our sanity application see you there